Hydro Trash here again, just doing a quick little tutorial for how to make new tile sets for your maps. So this uh, this here is our tile, one of our tiles, tile sets, I guess, or whatever. So that means you can put down, you know, whatever you want. You also have, you have tab A and tab B. So put a tab B, you know, you can put down these ones. Whereas some of them are are more land, other ones are buildings or objects, things like that. We have all this extra space here, or say you don't want to even want these ones, so let's just make an, a new map here, and I'll show you real quick. So when you're making a new map, uh, tile set right here, so you have a choice of field, exterior, interior, dungeon. So this is field out here. Let's try interior. All right. So now we're, as you can see, they have different uh, tiles. So we're set to interior on this map. So now we have access to all these ones. If you want to do some of this, you can put in a couple little objects. Let's put in this whole stack of bookcases here. See? Uh, C, you know, same thing again, cakes. Um, again, there's more space we can fill here if we want. So... Say you uh, you're in here and you you want you don't want any of these you want a new one. Here's how you do that. Go over to games, when I'm popping a database, and move over to tile sets. So you can see the four here. You'll see all the different uh, icons you get with each one over there, or the textures. So you're gonna want to have a new one here. So you're gonna have to change maximum doesn't really matter what number you use so let's make a new one here we'll call this test tile just for the demo uh, so in here as you can see there's different modes field mode area type so we're gonna want to make this another area type it already is that's fine then so let's add some textures so Uh, add in a interior. Let's put in a couple different ones here, just so we can. Uh, so we have ground, we have animation. Those are animated tiles. Buildings, A3. They have the same tag, so you can match them up if you want to. So we'll have that in there. Put these down in here too. Let's put in a couple extras. Let's put in. Well, let's put in outside C. And we have outside A3, outside C. Let's throw in one more. Let's put in inside A5. So now we have these. These are all available now on your tile set. Uh, and here's where you can change all of the passage ability on them, the directions you can pass through them. Or a ladder, a bush, a countertop, so you can put cakes on it and all that shit. Uh, anyway, so there's our little tile set. Let's, um, geez, we still have more tabs here. Can we put in more? Will this go in? Let's put, let's put this in. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it did too. There you go. See? Apply. Okay. Now, if we want to just change this one, we can make it a new map, or we can go in map properties, tile set. There's our new tile set. Click it on. Hit OK. It'll obviously it'll change a bit because you're on a new tile set. But that's how you do make a new tile set for your maps with the tile sets there already. And of course, you can make new tile sets yourself and then add those in the same way. It's uh, it's not too too bad. There we go.